Hi, I'm Zach Parmeter with Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. In this episode, we're going to show you how this client focused on simplifying maintenance with kiln dried logs, high performance stains, and most importantly, sensible design considerations, such as covered porches and large gable overhangs. One of the first steps to building a log home is to use high quality wood so that it can withstand whatever nature throws its way. At Golden Eagle, we sustainably harvest all of these logs and timbers, which means for every tree that is harvested, three are planted in its place. When these trees are harvested, they are cut in the winter time. And that's because sap is then at its lowest point in the tree, in the root system. Any sap that would be remaining ends up getting crystallized while it's in the kiln. And this also helps prevent blue staining from occurring. The basement foundation walls are intentionally raised out of the ground, and this client wanted stone beneath the porch. We had the stone installed before the porch was built because overall it's faster and it's easier to build because we didn't have to crouch beneath the porch boards. While that finishes up, we pour the concrete columns that will support the porch. These will all be covered in stone that matches the house. Next, we'll begin installing the deck. We put a mark every 16 inches where the treated 2x12 boards will get attached. We temporarily support the joist using a 2x4. This will get replaced with an 8x8 hand-hewn timber. Once the board is level, we use joist hangers to secure the board and we continue the process until the framing is complete. Next, we are ready to install the 8x8 hand-hewn support beams. These will be placed in between the concrete columns. We have a lot of options for your covered porch. These clients chose solid log round headers to match the size and shape of the logs on their house, and square vertical posts to tie into the timber trusses that are in the gables. Notice that the soffit, fascia, and windows all match, and they are maintenance free too. This whole porch is built to withstand heavy wind and snow loads. In fact, each home built with Golden Eagle meets and exceeds all local building codes. They use a 16 inch log fastener to attach the logs to the vertical timber beams. One of the really neat features of this covered porch is the electrical outlets that we ran. In order to get a light switch or a power outlet here, you need to run a chase for all the wiring before you install these big support beams. We pre-drilled using a massive drill bit to the height of these outlet boxes. Our support posts are borate treated for longevity and installed with standoff bases at the bottom to prevent moisture from wicking up into the post. Before the porch mono trusses are installed, they attach the ledger board using two 2x6s, which the heel of the mono trusses will be anchored into. Once the truss is installed, they add another 2x6 between each truss piece to secure it and lock it into place. This process is incredibly fast because the trusses are specifically engineered and pre-built for this house. Once the truss installation is complete, they add the OSB sheathing and then they complete the roof system with architectural shingles. You'll notice that they decided to do a darker accent color around all the windows and doors as well as the posts, the arch brackets, and the trusses up in the gable. This is a very popular decision for a lot of our clients. People always ask me how long their stain is going to last. And what's great about a covered porch is that this stain should pretty much last forever. You see, what compromises the longevity of a stain is UV damage. But with a covered porch, as well as our extended overhangs, this stain should really have a great lifespan. I'm back at our design center showroom where the clients picked out all of the finishes for the interior and exterior of their home. We have a lot of great stain samples here on display 
and you can actually see them applied to different types of products. Now stains generally fall into two categories. You've got oil-based stains and water-based stains. They often vary on the types of color that they have, as well as the degree of shininess. So you can have more of a matte finish, or you can have more of a glossy finish. We're approached by stain manufacturers all the time because they want us to sell their stain. But what we've learned throughout the years is that it's very important to test that stain first before we apply it on our clients' homes. Now today I'll be actually creating some new stain sample boards. We're gonna be testing out a few new products that came out on the market. I wanna show you how important it is to properly prepare the logs before you do the initial coat of stain. You'll always wanna read the directions of the log cleaner that you're using. For this cleaner, it calls for me to originally wet down these logs. And then I'll apply the solution onto the logs, working my way from the bottom on the way up. That prevents any streaking from occurring. And then as I rinse the logs, I'll clean them from top to bottom. So what I'll do is I'll use the pressure washer with the spray nozzle at the widest point, work my way from the top on the way to the bottom. I wanna make sure that I keep spraying it until all the suds go away. You see, although this looks like brand new wood, it's actually been accumulating pollen and dust. We wanna make sure that the surface is clean so that all the stain sticks really well to it. We also have different log shapes and timber sizes here. This is important for us because as we do this thorough testing, we want to see how the stain handles on these different textures and finishes. We'll run through our criteria and make sure that it meets all the standards that we need for it to become an option for our clients in the future. Now when it came to staining the home, it was very convenient to just simply go around the house with a simple step stool. It made it really easy to reach up into these areas. I see it all the time where high quality stains really outperform when they're applied to kiln dried logs. And it only makes sense. You see a kiln dried log is much more dry and porous than an air dried log is. That's because when that log is in the kiln, the heat of the kiln causes the cell membrane to break open and it releases the bound water. That allows the stain to penetrate and bond to the wood much better over a long period of time. It's for that reason that I consider our logs to be more maintenance free than other log homes that you would see. We actually have a terrific video and we'll link it in the description that goes into the additional benefits of our kiln drying process. Since the decking is protected by the covered porch, we are using high quality treated lumber. Other great options we offer are maintenance free composite decking and cedar. And if you have a deck, another great option is permeable pavers. As you can tell, this home is very rustic and industrial. And on the ceiling finish, we use a custom pre-finished corrugated steel. It really ties it in together with the wood and the industrial looking lights. These industrial lights are a big reason why the client chose to go with a flat ceiling instead of a vaulted rafter ceiling. To give the porch even more style, we added these custom arch brackets in hand-hewn finish, and we applied an edge worn to the vertical posts. Next, we're going to install the railing. Here we are drilling out holes for the heavy-duty rebar balusters. We drill a weep hole in the bottom of the rail to allow for any rainwater to run out. Next, we cut a spot for the railing, and then we are ready to install each piece. The rebar slides into place. Look at how heavy duty these balusters are. What's really great is we installed them in a way where you can just pull them up and out. That makes it easy to stay in the bottom and top rail. To finish off the porch, we install stone on all of the concrete pillars. This is the same stone that we used on the house. And speaking of stone, it is generally the higher up areas in the gables that aren't any fun to stain. We went through all of the options with them and they chose to have stone and maintenance free shakes as the gable finish. Leading up to the front covered porch and on the back deck, we used a maintenance free railing system because the client didn't want to obstruct their view. It even matches the color scheme of the other metal accents on the home. When you're building a brand new home, you wanna make sure that you have all the design considerations and materials options available to you. When you visit our showroom, you'll see that there are nearly unlimited options to take your home in any direction that you'd like, including significantly reducing its maintenance. We have a lot more to show you on how this incredible log home was built, so be sure to follow along by subscribing to our YouTube channel as we'll be releasing more videos in the future.